All right, good afternoon. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Same place as last night. Not in between the piano leg and the books. How about I'll just leave them there? All day. See if they move around again, huh? The mess! Son of Satan! Devil worshiper! Ass lover! And pussy lover! Married to a woman, raping a man! That's the worst closeted homosexuals I hate. Not the gay pride ones either, either. That's what I'm talking about, motherfuckers. Those sick fucks. Who will kill you if you tell their wives. Or it becomes a rumor at schools. At school homes. Instead of telling the truth, right? Themselves, right? Or even if you assure them I won't tell because it's just my word against your word, right? Anyway, you can't prove if you don't do anything, right? If you try to rape me or knock me out so I don't remember or kill me even, right? That's a crime too. That's a crime too. It's attempted rape attempted murder if you don't kill me and then assault with a deadly weapon and things like that right right assholes in the navy and VA going along with their bullshit that they can't prove bobbing your head up and down in front of a child means what nothing nothing sticking out your tongue to a child means what nothing Going close to her, but not licking her, means what? Nothing. Nothing. Undressing in front of her in the middle of the night, because you're not sure what she wants, or she wants a bath, or what exactly is going on, is not unusual. Right? I never undressed in front of, uh, say, a girlfriend, or a, um, you know, Buddy from school before, or uh, something like that, right? In a friend setting, right? Where we were going to the river or something, and need to put it on our trunks, you know? Um, you do sometimes undress if you're sleepy, groggy, things of that nature. It's late at night, you're not thinking clearly, and you're not sure exactly what's going on. Now, sexual gratification is what? Masturbation or getting on top of the girl or something like that, right? Only if those two things happen can you insinuate any idea of right anyway. anyway. Undressing, having a uh, erect penis don't mean anything. anything. <laughs> Unless you're stroking it hard, right? You don't know what I was just watching on TV? I don't remember it either. But I know this, right? If I was excited, it don't mean it was because of the girl. You know? Anyone can have a boner in school, in front of the whole class, and not know exactly what's going on when you're either having your first boner, or you just wake up with the child in there with you, right? Whatever's going on, right? And when you sleep, you have REM, right? Rapid eye movement, right? A dream. A child being in there with you, and you're an adult, and she's supposed to be in there with her mom, would seem dreamlike, not reality. Right? You're not looking for her to be in there with you either. You just went to sleep, you just turned off the TV. Maybe you turned off the light. Maybe you left it on. For whatever reason. Sometimes when you're trying to stay in a safe environment. You might leave the light on. In case, say, the girl needs to go to the bathroom. You're not thinking, oh, she's going to come in there and try and advance on me. And will that be undressed or anything. Premeditated something. What's that, right? Where you 
plan on something to happen and you go about to make it happen. Entrapment is where someone else plans for something to happen and tries to make you do it, right? Right. And you wouldn't normally do it, right? Doing something one time is not premeditated if what you don't go too far, right? Now, when we're talking about the stories I'm telling you, the most graphic thing I described is possibly simulating licking her one time and possibly undressing briefly with an erect penis but not actually doing anything other than that, right? And maybe walking back and forth, say, in front of the couch. I don't know. I don't know. That's just possible, too. I don't, depending on what I was thinking and trying to figure out what was going on until what? I realized, hey, <laughs> it's a child. What am I doing? And dress, right? Now, if it's all less than a minute, right? Less than a minute. <laughs> I'm not sexually gratifying myself. I'm not. I'm not trying to, you know, make the child do anything she don't associate or let me do right while I'm doing it right and I'm not trying to force her to do anything either which would be rape right she's reacting to me as if someone showed her that so what do you do you ask her who showed you that right for her to be in there with me in any circumstances means I got to ask her that question period right to whatever degree right now, this is just an argument with a he said, he said, or a he said, she said person. No matter who it is. No matter how many they want to gang up on me. But right now, this seems to be three. Some try to come in, but they quickly back off, right? Right. So we know three people are being dicks to me. One's pretending to be on my side, but isn't. One's definitely not on my side and so is the other right I would trust the two that aren't on my side more than the one that is right he ain't helping either he ain't helping either he's a fake friend right all he can say is I'm your friend when he's not when he's not you can't fool me you can't fool me foe I know a real friend from my foe So you can't see that, huh? Because you're blind as a freaking bat, huh? Uh, or are you legally blind? Now, I got my keys right here with me, and I'm going to leave them on the freaking desk all day long to see if they fall into <laughs> the piano leg or the books. Asshole. Magically.
Now, like I keep telling the dumbasses who steal my keys from my house, right? That's still breaking and entering, rendering me unconscious somehow, and taking my stuff, right? And there's several ways you can do that, too. But all that's what? Illegal. Against the law, and you know you're breaking the law. Pretend, vigilante, who can't hurt me, or again, is attempted murder. But you could use a gas or something like that. I, I don't know exactly what you're doing, but obviously it's not affecting me like you want it to. Or I'm not as out as long as you want me to be. That's all I'm saying.
Now one is an electrical meter, one is an AT&T box, and one is a Comcast box. The Comcast box was open, right? And I ain't been back there in a while either, so God knows how long it's been open, right? But I also noticed that before they closed it again, you know what I mean? Right. And they don't pop open, right? If they do, you tell me how. I know. It's actually a semicolon, but... gotta charge it obviously it's out of battery power but see this is the point when you set your keys on a specific spot in your house when you come home unless someone moves them they don't move I don't care if it's Big Roddy doing it 
or you know Blake or someone else, someone's moving those keys, Marcy. And I don't know why he thinks that Sherrod would work with you either for this song. But yeah, Big Roddy would have to be the only one moving your keys. He's he demanded the house. He don't want you putting your keys there. That's that's his you know you know way to teach you not to do that. I guess. And, uh, it's not that I don't understand what he's doing, but he's trying to show you you leave them there. Anyone can pick him up, and I guess he's worried someone will break in the house or something soon. Right? Oh, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. He's just trying to make sure you are responsible for your keys, and you know takes them and then gives them back to you and puts them back where you can find them again. Right? That's what I'm thinking. But I guess he's trying to teach you a lesson. Anyone can walk off with them or something. Now, I know you don't do that out in public, of course, right? You're always where, where your keys are. And maybe you feel he's being a little bit of a butt about it after all these years. But, you know, I guess he's, in his own way he's looking out for you, right? But I guess that would be getting old if he's still doing it. And you're just setting them on the pool table now, right? Knowing where you're setting them, right? But I guess he's still trying to teach you the lesson you won't learn from him, you know? I don't know why. I don't know why. Like you said, it ain't necessarily someone will break into the house and steal the keys and then replace them. Like someone recently did with me too, right? right. Or similarly, right? don't mean it was Big Roddy per se, but it's someone who would feel the same as Big Roddy, right? right. Try that, like, because my house is somewhat of a mess because my papers are strode a little bit. Though I know where they are and can find them at any time. That's the point, right? Some people are neat freaks, Spirati. No one wants a neat freak. Not Mima, not Marcine, and not you. So quit it off. And that, like, you know, you understand we're human. Cleanliness is fine, but godliness is the dirt of the earth, which we were formed for. If we're not perfect, you know, don't worry about what you consider clean or unclean. Right? You're just a man. Right? Quit playing sleeping with the enemy, too. Right? And moving her stuff around. Right? No one likes that. Right? And she knows where she said it, and y'all start arguing about it, right? Every time, every time. Well, you're the only two in the house unless you're suggesting Blake did it, right? Which, if he did it, he would do it under your prompting, Bigrod. Quit lying, Bigrod! You're my stepdad! Act like it! There's something going on with you, too, right? I'm starting to suspect. You're a control freak, right? And either you and Thomas are in on it, right? Trying to make me neat like y'all are, and I'm disabled. My butt's hurting already now. And I've only been up a few hours, right? Just sitting can make me hurt, dumbasses. It's in my coccyx, sacrum, and ankle. That's why I'm not running all through the trailer park like I did before I fell. Big Rod. And ain't in the same shape. So things like that take a lot out of you. And you can't change the medical opinion unless they want to change it themselves. And obviously they're in denial of what they're even seeing at the VA in the Navy. Because right? they don't know how to walk by faith, not by sight, which is all they can say I'm doing. Right? Which is a biblical concept, which like I told Dr. Asner, we're coming from two different books. Mine is the book of faith. Hearing and listening to your inner voice, trying to discern if it's God or the devil. Yours is there is no such thing as hearing voices, and you can't hear voices. Well, one of us is wrong. <laughs> I don't think it's me after all this time, Dr. Asner, and Dr. Carey, and Dr. Oates. I think it's you, I think.
That's the whole point. Talk to you later.